Hello, welcome to my channel. In this series of videos about technique, video techniques, I'm going to try to explain to you some tricks and some thoughts about different strokes and different techniques from breaststroke, power flyer, freestyle, backstroke, or stars, turns. So slowly, I'll try to put some thoughts for all of you. Hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment below. Eh? Thank you. Today, we're going to talk about crawling your toes at the end of the restaurant kick. You know, a lot of people do butterfly kicks, and a lot of people uh, don't do anything and they forget, you know. And one of the, the key things with your toes and your feet are going to really have a big impact on your center of gravity. And your center of gravity is right below your navel. And in breaststroke, uh, if your toes are pointing down and you, your feet are pointing down, like you can see in this picture, at the end of your kick, then your center of gravity is going to sink. And then slowly through the race, you know, you're going to lose the speed. The most important thing in breaststroke, and any stroke, but in breaststroke, there's an undulating stroke at butterfly, is, as a coach and as a swimmer, is to understand that what's the shortest distance between two points. Shortest distance between two points is straight line from point A to point B. So, you know, the, the wave brush stroke or the butterfly undulation, you want to have a longer amplitude, you know, longer, not wider. So the feet, like as you can see in this picture, down, pointing down, if you keep them like that, you will sink slowly. Now, look at this next picture. So you can see the toes are crawled up. And it's a very simple uh, movement. You, it doesn't take power doesn't take uh, any energy is as you finish the kick you want to crawl your toes you can do that on your star you can do that in many different uh, areas that I will make another video for you but watch watch this swimmer the kick how presses back finish the kick boom, and then moves the toes up you know it's a very you know, simple movement and even though her feet are kind of like sinking a little bit, but they almost stay in the same line and keep the body in the same line. And that's the key. In breaststroke, it's not about getting faster. Well, in any stroke, it's not about getting faster. It's about being able to keep your speed constant. Huh? And you have one speed, Sec if you swim in a 200 breaststroke, for example, second 50, third 50, the fourth 50, a lot of people add up, add up, add up. And the, the idea it would be as a coach and as a swimmer to think, how can I keep my speed more constant? So by finishing, and you keep watching this video in slow motion now, finishing the kick and crawling your toes, look how the body keeps straight in a very good straight line. You know, I hope I hope you enjoy this. It's a very short tip, but just watch it and watch it. And then if you're a swimmer, if you're a coach, try to explain that. If you're a swimmer, try to think, close your eyes and feel it. Okay? And if you're a coach, just watch it and see how it goes. Some people might not be able to do it, but the last thing you want to do is watch this picture again, finish the kick and keep your toes down. Okay? That, that's a no-no. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you did. If you have any comments, just leave me a comment down below and click the subscribe button and help me grow the, the channel a bit bigger. Eh? Have a good day.